I reckon I'm not much just by myself. I fail to do a lot of things I ought to do. But Lord, when trails are steep and passes high, help me to ride it straight the whole way through. And in the falling dusk, I get the final call. I do not care how many flowers they send. Above all else, the happiest trail would be for you to say to me, that's right, my friend. Amen. Byron Wilkerson's friends, Ropin, we've had a good turnout today. Byron, uh, Hal Earnhardt, buddy, uh, miss you, can't wait to get back to start roping with you again. The one thing I love about you is that big handshake. You take off that glove and that paw starts back here and grabs a hold of you. You shake like a man, buddy. Miss you and love you. I'm gonna video so we can watch it over and over again. <laughs> Hey bud, um, I just I just want to let you know how much of a how much you've helped me throughout the years with my roping and and just being a good friend, you know, being out of state and being at a rodeo and not knowing anybody and and seeing you and and you're always you've always been there for me and been a good friend for me and and. Uh, I don't know. Thank you. Novio Viejo. Man, it's, uh, I think it's gonna be a pretty good turnout. Touched a lot of people, man. Helped a lot of people out. You felt like a friend to everybody, everybody it always made everybody feel welcome and comfortable and you sure did teach me a lot and you've helped me you know your first real rodeo partner I ever had man and I appreciate it and it was it was a good time and ride hard cowboy awesome uh, all right I got one okay hey Byron I hope you're doing good Hope everything's, you know, as good as it can be. I remember the time when you always gave everyone crap at the junior rodeos for roping legs. And it took you about two years till you were able to catch leg, which it was at Wilcox. And when you did, you got more hell out of all your friends roping legs. I'll never forget that. You stuck your head down and rode right off the back of the arena, and it was funnier. <laughs> funny as hell, man. And awesome. I, I love you, dog. Hope awesome. everything's good. Thank you. Okay. Byron, had a lot of good times. Still got my Reno Spurs we won together and uh, wouldn't miss this deal for the world and uh, love you, thinking about you, and we'll meet again. Awesome, thank you. Uh, I guess first time I met Byron, um, he's at Jackpot. I was really little in Bayfield. And he walked up to me and helped, that, helped me out with my healing and at the end of the day gave me a rope. I thought that was one of my, you know, that was my biggest memory, Byron, right there. And uh, I roped with him a lot over the years. And he's just a great guy. Awesome. Wow. Awesome. Thank you. First time I met Byron Wilkerson, I was about... 11 years old, came to the house to row, and I was so excited. First year of the day, fell off my horse right in front of me. Probably didn't row for two weeks after that. Heart broke. That was, a, that was my memory of Byron. There's awesome. some other ones. <laughs> awesome. 
Aaron. What, what are you getting in there, Cam? My deal is uh, <laughs> I'm gonna tell playing golf with you, buddy. We always had a good time playing golf, and that was we want to want to play again. So let's do it. And we, we miss you out good, here, so you. we'll see you soon, hopefully. Awesome. Okay, go ahead. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Hi, Bat Byron. Wish you all the luck in the world, buddy, and keep your head up, and always remember, gloves are for pussies. <laughs> My name is Eric, um, and I just wish you the best of luck and a speedy recovery. I um, just want to tell you that I won't forget you. Um, remember the first time we went to rope jackpot was in uh, San Antonio, the George Strait. We, we had the old big Volvo, and then we had the, the old red trailer. Uh, remember taking me out there the first time to the jackpot. It was pretty neat. And I just want to thank you for all that. The good memories and. Uh, Hey, I lost my the good stuff going to some of the circuit rodeos, you know, we would travel a little bit. I remember driving right through here and pacing, falling asleep on you in the back bunk. And you tell me, hey, I can't drive at night. I said, I'll try to stay up with you. And that's why I opened driving with you and all the elk on the road. But, uh, and then you let me drive the big truck, you know, in Logandale. So I never forgot about that. And it's all the good times and good memories I can think about you, buddy. So hang in there, get strong, and we we'll right behind you. Thank you. Awesome. Great. Tell you one story about Byron, and I have lots of stories. Uh, before we quit drinking, after we quit drinking, there are different kinds of stories. One of the stories that sticks out in my mind is we went and gathered some horses off his mom's ranch to sell, and we may have been drinking too much, but we decided we would uh, saddle them at the corral. I picked his, he picked mine, we weren't gonna let him take one step, we were gonna get on and we were gonna race in this tree. And uh, neither one of us were really that brave, but we were that day, and they both took off bucking, and we had a race to that tree, and that's one of the, my favorite stories about Byron. Awesome, thank you. <laughs> All right, Byron. Uh, How are you? There's a lot of memories. I'm trying to pick one still, but the most recent was when you borrowed my rope at Apache Junction. You spun the crap out of a steer and then threw it back in my truck. <laughs> awesome. It was fun. <laughs> My fondest memory is he's always been a hand. I always see him catch two feet, hardly ever see him miss. The guy I always looked up to. Awesome, thank you. Okay. Byron, Bill, Jack, uh, miss you, buddy. Wish you was here and God bless and we'll see you when we can. Thank you, buddy. Love awesome. You. Bye. Oh, my memory, Byron. Well, he was George's partner when I lived over there. And he was the first guy I was ever five with. So that was a big milestone in my life. Um, he always had a handshake, a smile, and something funny to say. It didn't matter what. So uh, my heart's always with him.